terms with it. In Scotland, we've got to build on success, and that means getting ready for next, next May's uh, Scottish Parliament elections. And I think it's really very, very important that we see the Scottish Parliament elections not just as a chance to show that Labour can fight back in opposition, but it can also develop the policies that will then be a prototype for the next Labour government in Westminster and on affordable housing, safer streets, decent jobs. There's a big role for the Scottish Parliament, and I look forward to Ian Gray leading that. I think it was a good election result in Scotland, certainly compared to the rest um, of the country. Uh, and I think we can learn from some of the things that have been done in Scotland. I think there's more of a sense of uh, pursuing the values of the Labour Party and reaching out to people uh, in the community. Uh, that's some of the things that have been done in Scotland. Uh, I want to see them done in the rest of the United Kingdom as well. face a huge threat to jobs in Scotland and right across the country from what the Tories and Liberals are planning. Over 5,000 young people's jobs at risk. I think we'll see an unemployment budget from the Tories and the Liberals in the next week and a half. And we've got to oppose that and learn from the brilliant campaigning that Scottish Labour has led in the last um, few months. We're saying that I can give Labour something that the, the Tories and the Nats don't have, a leader that people can relate to, can identify with, whose background looks like their own.